I'm super excited to have Mika here with us um, from Cape Coral, Florida. So we're both Floridians, but she's on the opposite coast of me. She's West Coast and I'm East Coast. <laughs> so you got a little like East Coast, West Coast rivalry going on here. No, I'm joking. No. Um, <laughs> but um, I wanted to thank Mika so much. I know she's just had like a super long day of work. You know, Mika works long hours. And I know this was something that, you know, she had shared with me before she had started Create My Weight was that, you know, she works a lot, doesn't like to cook, not consistent, doesn't make habits very easily. Does this sound like any of you guys watching? You're you're smiling, Nika. Why are you smiling now? Just because that's that was the whole struggle. That was the big thing that was holding me back. Yeah, it was, but not anymore, right? Yep. No, nope. She hit her goal weight, 25 pounds, and she just told me she lost another pound. So yes, guys, Mika lost it over the holiday season, you know, through Halloween. We actually started in the summertime, you know, so even with all the summertime things going on, you know, she was still successful. And then through Halloween, Thanksgiving, and even like now, you know, she's doing great. So um, we'll get into that here in a little bit. But again, I wanted to thank Mika um, for being here. And what I want to do first is I want you, for you, Mika, to share you know, what you had tried in the past, like before Create My Weight, that like just wasn't working for you? Um, I tried the South Beach diet and that worked as long as I was doing it. But then at some point you end it and you're supposed to slowly add some foods back in. And for me, again, that all or nothing mindset and everything ended up coming back in and I ended up back where I started. And then um, the next time I tried hiring someone to give me meal plans. And again, once I was done, I didn't really know what to do, except maybe just repeat the meal plans that she had. But that got really boring. And I ended up just going back to my old ways. Okay. So you guys comment, those of you watching, um, comment in the chat if you sound like Nika, like you had done, like, um, like someone give you meal plans or you had tried the South Beach diet or like once you finished the diet, you just like didn't know what to do next. Cause it's like, well, now what? Right. So comment if that sounds like you. And I hear this all the time, you know? So when Nika came to me and I know she was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm capable of making these habits and changing. I'm very all or nothing. Um, comment in the chat of your all or nothing mindset. So like you're all in on something. And then once you just get over it or don't know what to do, you just kind of be like, eh, whatever, and just eat anything, you know? And I know Mika, I remember how much you liked your burgers. Do you still like your burgers? I do. I just yeah. don't get the buns. <laughs> yeah. So she changes up how she eats certain things. Absolutely. So um, I want to kind of go over, you know, a little bit about, you know, what made you come to CMW? Like, why did you think, this was a good fit for you? Um, I loved in our phone call, the, the fact that you recognize that mindset is so important to diet, you know, just as important as diet and exercise. Because for me, for me personally, I think it was even more important than diet and exercise because without the mindset, the other two aren't going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, yeah. that really was, was for me, the key. Yeah. I'm so glad you said that. And I'm glad you recognize that on our first call, because I know on our first call, I'm very big on the mindset. And I tell people like, listen, I can tell you what to eat and I can tell you how to exercise, but if you don't have this right, you're not going to do it. Right. It's 80% mindset, 20% food and fitness. And so I'm so glad you recognize that. And I know a lot of times people don't know what that means mindset, you know, like, I don't get it. Like, why is that important? But it's important because what Nika was saying earlier that she had that all or nothing mentality or like, if I'm not on a diet that I'm just doing whatever, you know? And so it's kind of like reprogramming your brain a little bit. Right. So what would you say, what are like a couple of things on this journey? How did you change your thoughts about a couple, you know, important things on this journey? Um, one of the biggest things for me was getting over thinking that because I worked so much, I didn't have time to fit in exercise anywhere and realizing that it didn't have to be 
like a big, huge workout. I could just do, you know, a quick 20 minute walk in the morning and a 20 to 30 minute workout in the afternoon after I get off work. And it didn't have to be as soon as I got off work, I could rest for a little bit and then do it whenever, you know, as long as I just got it in there and did something, something is better than nothing. Yeah. I love that. And you guys comment in the chat, if you make this big production about fitness and you're like, Oh my gosh, like I, how do I fit it in? You know, I have to get an hour workout in and I don't have time or the energy or the desire, right. To do all these things, you know, and Nika told me this from the get go, you know, she's very honest. She's like, I work long days. I don't love working out. I want to do it. I have room in my house, right? I have all the equipment, but <laughs> <laughs> I remember you telling me I've got everything, but I just like, don't use it. So I was like, well, we'll, we'll create a way for you to work out. It doesn't have to be an hour. It doesn't even have to be 30 minutes. Like, like you were saying, it's 20 minutes and you know, you shed 25 pounds doing that, you know? Mm-hmm. So it wasn't these like crazy hour long workouts you were doing. So, um, so I did say, I'm like, you know, Nika's little description, like minimal time working out, you know, shorter workouts are great. Um, you know, and something else I remember that you had struggled with was like the, uh, cooking, right. You didn't love, you don't love cooking. No. <laughs> right. So how did, how did you learn to like navigate, you know, through that and, and be able to you know lose weight in this process? Um, yeah, a little bit more cooking with, um, not raw foods, but you know, real food and not boxed stuff, but also just changing my orders when we order out, you know, not getting an actual hamburger, but getting the stuff that goes on a hamburger with no bun and no, uh, condiments so that I'm adding my own so I can control what, what I put on it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, making sure that if I'm going to have pizza, I've got plenty of veggies on it, as well as just, you know, I'm not getting pepperoni anymore, you know? (laughs) Right, right. I love that. So that's like one thing I remember Nika us talking about on your exit session was like the little changes that you made, you know? So I always say this guys, like successful weight loss is not about making a zillion changes. It's about making just like little tweaks, right? That lead to big results over time. And so that's something that, you know, Nika learns. But Nika, into your defense too, like, you know, I think what I love about your journey is that like you learn food freedom, right? So you were still able to like eat burgers and stuff, but like you didn't eat perfect for 16 weeks, right? I know a lot of people think like, oh, I have to be a perfect eater to lose weight. I mean, how do you feel about that? No, you just... um like there was one evening I knew I was going to have some drinks. So I, I did what you said and I made sure protein and produce for the day I avoided my carbs so I could have my drinks. There you go. Right. Right. So it is really about just like, kind of like having a game plan, you know, planning Mm -hmm. ahead. Um, and guys, I talk about this on my social eating and drinking guide. It's actually like a freebie. Um, that's, that's on my website, createmyweight.com. So if you want that, you can go ahead and grab it. Um, but yeah, like what Nika's talking about, it's just like, you know, I know my treats are going to be like drinks, so I'll change my food choices, but there's also lots of other little things, you know, that you adopted and also like just building the consistency, you know, like I remember when we first started that, you know, like it was kind of like getting into the fitness group was like some, sometimes difficult. So like, and I like to make this transparent because I don't want people when they hear about create my way to think that they have to be perfect for 12 weeks, 16 weeks, whatever time they're with us. Like, did you have any struggles over the course of your time? And if so, what were they? Yeah, there were a couple weekends where, you know, I had worked over 50 hours that week. And I just did not have the mental energy to do anything over the weekend, which is when I like to do like a longer walk normally and that type of thing. And I just, I went vegetative for like the entire weekend. But instead of that all or nothing where I went, oh, I messed it up time to quit. 
I said, okay, I needed a break. I took a break. Now I can move on. There you go. All right. It's just moving forward and it's momentum, right? It's just about keeping the momentum from the weekend and taking a little break. But I'm glad that you were able to get back on track, you know, and that's, that's a big change. And that was a huge non-scale victory for you. You know, yes, yes, you lost 25 pounds, but like, I remember like how all or nothing you were black or white thinking, right. And our very first phone call, the fact that you can say this now is just like a whole 180 for you. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I, what I also want to know is like how confident, and I think everyone else wants to know, cause it's like, yeah, awesome. Like she lost 25 pounds and like, that's great. But like, how confident are you in your ability to maintain your success from this point forward? I'm very confident because what you do is more like a class where I'm learning what I need to learn to make my own decisions to eat correctly and how much I need to exercise and how much I need to walk and all of the tools that I need to continue. And I made all those decisions myself. You gave me guidelines, but I decided what to eat and I decided when and what to exercise. So I'm not, yes, I'm, I'm stepping away from the program, but I'm not losing what I learned so I can keep going. Yeah, right. And you guys see how different that is from what she said when she like got meal plans written for her by someone and then she didn't know what to do. Like, and I remember our ta- us talking about that and how you had felt that you didn't know how to make your own decisions, right? It's like, well, once that person's gone, that was writing me meal plans. Well, now what, you know? And so oftentimes when people come to create my weight and they're like, oh, well, will you write us meal plans? And I say, no, because that's, that's a band-aid right? Like you're not learning, right? Like who wants to be given a piece of paper that says you can only eat this, 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 and this, like that is not food freedom. Right. And that's not what, what Nika wanted because she already had that before. And she's like, I want to learn. I want to under, I remember our conversation very vividly. Um, I remember you saying like, you wanted to understand nutrition, understand what, how to make meals on my own and make my own choices. And so like, you saying this now, it's like so empowering. And I hope you feel empowered too. Cause like, it's like, I know what to do now and I don't have to hire somebody again to write me meal plans or go figure out another diet. Maybe try South beach or the third time, you know, you you're set, you're set girl. I love it. I love it. So comment in the chat guys, if you're like tired of meal plans and you want to actually like learn nutrition, like hashtag learn nutrition, like understand what works for you and your body. You know, so I love Nika that you feel confident, you know, going into the new year and like a lot of people, you know, they, they, um, are going into 2022, like, okay, like I'm ready to start, but like, you're done. Like now I know you want to focus on strength training, right. And like mm-hmm. tuning up your body. Right. So yeah. I remember like the struggles with like the consistency with like the fitness. Now that's like your main mission, right? Yes. Yep. I love it. I love that so much. Um, I guess one last thing for everyone watching here today is if, you know, you want to give a piece of advice to anyone who's contemplating the weight loss journey or just feels really lost and doesn't know what to do. um, What's what's your biggest piece of advice to someone to who, where you were 16 weeks ago? Drop the all or nothing mindset. Um, You know, you do a lot of affirmations and stuff. And during my journey, I found uh, something that I read. It said, anything worth doing is worth doing poorly, which sounds weird, but it's better to try it and maybe not be the best at it and keep doing it until you get good than to not try it at all. You know, Mm. it's, it's better to do a quick, 30 second brush your teeth then not to brush your teeth at all you know yeah yeah so, anything worth doing is worth doing poorly so don't not do it at all just because you're not sure you can do perfect yeah. I completely get that and guys like I say this a lot and create my weight you guys hear me you know how we do one thing is how we do everything so what Nika is saying now and 
applies to not just like weight loss and, and diets, but also like anything in life. It's like being a business owner. It's like, you know, are you going to like give up after like one, you know, not good week of sales, you know, or if you don't make X amount of money, you're going to shut your business down. Like, no, it's like, you're going to figure out a way and, you know, you have to fail to succeed. It's how we learn. It's how we grow. And that's why we said in CMW, we do not expect perfection. We expect progress. And as long as you're doing those little things every week that we teach and a lot of it's mindset, like what Nico is saying, you're going to be just like Nika. You're going to be successful and feel this like crazy amount of confidence that you can do this on your own. She set guys like, you know, hands up for Nika. Like she literally <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like I'm, I was so thankful that you were willing to share your story because I remember, you know, and a lot of people say like, I, I'll be the, you know, I it won't, it won't work for me or like, I don't know if I can do it. And everyone has those fears, but like you were willing to put in the work and you were willing to try. And, and that's what happened and you succeeded. And I'm just so happy that you're happy. And that's like all I ever want, you know, for people. And uh, I know you hit your goal weight. I know you want to get stronger from here. And I know you're mentally stronger, which is great. And then now you're going to just keep becoming like more mentally stronger and physically stronger. So, Mm -hmm. so yeah, no, um, you guys, I just wanted to, again, thank Nika for joining us, you know, and, um, if you, are ready to be as confident and knowledgeable and happy and empowered as Nika is now, if you're ready to create your own success story, that's what create my weight is all about. It's not about following a meal plan and doing exactly what Kristen's workout regimen is. No, like it's about doing what works for you. What makes you happy with your schedule and your lifestyle, create my weight, right? So if you are looking to create your success story, want to learn your recipe for success, all you got to do is what Nika did. You go to createmyweight.com forward slash apply, book a free call with us. Okay. And that was what she was talking about in our very first call. You know, I talked about the mindset and how important that was. And that's why she's here. Cause she knew that was the game changer. That's the missing link. So many programs out there do not talk about mindset, you know, and I know there's like apps out there that like maybe mention it, you know, but like working on the mindset's not easy. It's just following an app, is it? You know, it's like way deeper. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, creamyweight.com forward slash apply. And um, we'll see if this is a good fit for you. You know, it was a good fit for Nika. She's set for life. All right. Hashtag set for life. You know, like she's on fire. Um, I know you have this awesome momentum going through the holiday season into the new year. Oh, my gosh. Six months from now, I'm going to see you with like biceps and like that booty, right? Oh, there they are. Woo! <laughs> yes right that booty too i love it i know you want that so um you can post it on that okay um but everyone watching please you know thank mika for sharing her story comment here in the chat on facebook if she inspired you you know i know like she was looking forward to sharing the story and and hoping it inspires others so if she inspired you let her know there's no greater gift, I feel like. And this is the season of giving, right? There's no greater gift than inspiring other people. Um, so I really hope that this inspires some of you to know that you can do this, right? As Nika said, like this is possible, but don't be afraid to try. You can't. You are worth it. You are worthy and you are capable of doing this. So createmyweight.com forward slash apply. All right. So Nika, thank you for joining us. I'll talk to you soon. Um, and everyone have a good night and I'll see you guys soon for another testimonial. Okay. Bye guys. See ya.